What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Amber Do here, welcoming you back to some more Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. And in the last episode, we did a lot of investigative digging and trying to figure out what's going on, how things are going. We just heard a very, very, very loud scream, um, which you guys may or may not have seen because I think I, I might have gaffed and play through it so that's what we're gonna go investigate here um before that though we got to do the good thing and check our pet because i feel like we may have problems with our pet um i'm supposed to be like checking our pet extremely often okay that's not bad oh oh why is the fire door open was this open before this might have been open before and I might be just reacting to it now. I think that might be what's happening. We're supposed to check up on, if I remember correctly, check up on uh, Mikon. Onekamaru's finally out. Um, but we can't talk to you right now. We're supposed to check on Mikon and, uh, is it Mihiru? I, get, I probably goofed the name. We'll hear it a lot, though, because uh, we have a pending trial going on. So, oh, no, I didn't do that bad. Hey, you're here. What the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wandering. I was investigating as much as I could. I see. Well, if you're not slacking off, then I guess it's fine. So, did you find anything? Uh, yeah, sort of. You don't sound too sure. Well, just look at the, take a look at this. Just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout. I tried to pinpoint where everyone was, where everyone was standing. And what I did... This diagram was the result. So everyone was standing in a position before the blackout, and everyone pretty much was in the dining hall. Okay. Fuyuhiko's position is unknown. All the windows are covered. Nagito's kind of furthest away. Mikon and Akane are the closest, and Kazuichi is... Okay. Does it show you where the table where he was killed is on this? Chiaki's outside. We knew that. Pekka was supposed to be in the office room, but was not in the office. And we did confirm that earlier. Abuki. Teru Teru should have been in the kitchen. But. Okay. You know what? Th this is a pretty good graph. I made a diagram analyzing these photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Just as I thought. Byaki was standing at a, f a far distance from the table. It's impossible. There's no way he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. Huh? What's that line extending from the table and where Ryakia was killed? Um, it's the desk lamp. I drew the power cord for it just in case. The power cord for the desk lamp? If that cord is extending to the from the table where Ryakia was killed, that means... So, did you find something? Hmm, it's not clear to me yet, but... I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I had a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Hmm? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that there's a clue hidden inside that. An extremely important clue. Oh, uh, we gotta talk to Mikan again. It's okay, Mikan. Just don't show us the, the picture again. Um, if you'd like, I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? Um... I, I tried within a reason to perform an autopsy on Byakia's body, and, and I discovered there's several puncture wounds around Byakia's chest in the abdominal region. Deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. Uh, it can be assumed a very thin, sharp object around five millimeters in diameter was used to stab him over and over and over again, which is what I, I believe. Uh, hey, are you okay? I'm sorry, talking about it has made me so sad. No need to push yourself. I mostly got the gist of what I, you, you, what you wanted to say. I'm sorry. Still, around a five millimeters in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? That's just as thin as an ice pack or an awl. Mikon's autopsy results have been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. And then Ch Chiaki. Hmm, just as I thought. It seems there's no way to get under the floor from inside the building. Maybe. So, is it just as Nagito said? If that's the case, then I guess I should give up on finding Gundam's earring. Leave here? Yes. I guess we might have to talk to... We might actually have to talk to ne Nekamaru. Because he definitely seems shocked. What the? What the hell was that loud voice just now? Um... 
Well, it definitely wasn't Nekamaru. I feel so lighthearted right now. I, Nekamaru Namadi, have been re- or Naidi have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? I won't lose to anyone, not even my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? <laughs> what? God, I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now, did you mention it? You said something like that shortly after the party had started. I have been trying to use it many times, but the door won't open at all. However, if you think it, it, I'd be angered by someone like that, you have all but underestimated my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve all. With one's presence of mind, the goal is a, that is the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must not never falter in any situation, but I have always, or, but always have the presence of one's mind. He said that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by the whole ordeal. Ah, well, best not get into it. Anyway... Uh, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the time the party started and after the blackout. And the bathroom finally was unoccupied after Biaki's body was found. That's about how long it lasted. What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember that in the case. Nekamaro's account has been added to the Truth Bullet section. Oh, okay, well I didn't have to talk to Nekamaru. I kind of just glanced him off and I shouldn't have. Oops! <laughs> I was a... I'll let I'll let Monokuma talk and then I'll say what I was gonna say. Yeah, we'll have time mountain with a carving of Monokuma's face at the central island. Okay, yeah, we will have time. Cool, cool, cool. Are we on the central island? Yes, we are. Okay. So, I am curious as to why the map was not counted as a truth bullet. Um, Because to me, I feel like that's a super important, like, thing to the case. Um, which we'll probably be getting into into the when we get into the trial. What he told us to gather at a place called Monokuma Rock. I have a feeling that there was a mountain, rocky mountainish place over there. Huh? Where am I goofing? Because I'm obviously messing up somewhere. Maybe I went the wrong direction. I could see that. Monokuma Rock. Oh. Yep, I did go the wrong direction. <laughs> well, I could have gotten there a lot easier, but I took the long way around, okay? <sighs> okay? Oh, no. This is dying. I cannot have my controller dying on this. I have to hold it up. Huh? Hey, what the heck is that mountain? When did that get there? Never mind that. How do they make a mountain shaped like a Monokuma? That story. That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Byakuya said before, before right? Byakuya, we still needed his knowledge. Ugh, I can't believe he's still dead. happened to Gundam and Fuhiko. Now that you mention it, it appears that they aren't here yet. Oh, uh, I know. They probably ran away. Oh, hell nah. There's nowhere that them escape, you know. Look, I dragged this one back over here. I am telling you, let me go. Hey now, if you keep acting violent, I might as well just eat you right up. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what were you doing all this time? Nothing. I re wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room and I suddenly heard a fat bastard got killed. Ugh, who cares uh, about that anyway? You. How can you say something so irresponsible? I was thinking that we were going to be going on the term of irrehensible? So irresponsible is not the term I was thinking of. 
we've been doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we do not want to, just to survive. Mahiru, that's enough. You too, Fuyukio. Or, Fuyuhiko. And I guess we're waiting for Gundam, then. I'm right here. Remember this well. A main character arrives when he intends to. Huh? It seems you noticed it, too? If I did, then I'm right. All right, now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. Please wait for a second. My, my, Manomi, just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. Hmm, do you actually want to join in? Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought. Oh well, I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister, so I shall allow your special participation. I'll go ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry on over. He told us to come, but how did we get there? I don't see any other doors or vehicles or... He mentioned something about a secret en entrance, was it? Secret entrance. Oh. What the? Something's shaking. Th this is dangerous. Everyone, please get down. Oh, we have an escalator on up. That's cool. I, I actually like that. That's actually ingenious here. So something came out. Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? So such suspicious aura. Even the Crimson Steel Elephant Mega Z is trembling with fear. Ah, oh, that's so, so totally suspicious. I can't go up that high right now. I'm like, you can, t I don't, I'm sure you can tell that I'm like not 100%. Forgive me, but seriously, just forgive me already. <laughs> Why don't you just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. There's no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. We'll just find the killer. Complaining won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up, for God's sake. We've come this far, and we have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right. There's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. If that's everyone's decision, I'm just going to follow you guys. If this were a video game, it'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear this game. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I could do was stare upward intensely as the escalator carried me. And then, each one of us entered Monokuma's rock. Ooh, and we got an elevator down. So we got an escalator up into an elevator down. That is ominous. This is an elevator? I see. The entire rock is an elevator. Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However, if he's gone this far he's made some, and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Even so, we're going to go. We're going pretty deep. You're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. I soon realized that this was the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. There we were, listening to the unpleasant roars of the elevator plunge deeper and deeper into the earth. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished descending. And then the elevator slowly opened. Okay. This is the class trial field. How do you like it? It's a special place and that will decide your fates. What the hell is he thinking locking us in a shitty looking place like this? Are you crazy? Don't mess with me. Huh. Complaining all you like. I'm used to it by now. Come on. You're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. 
Looks like everyone knows. Even if we try to resist, we won't change anything. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walked towards our, the seats that we had been assigned. From this point on, we needed to find out who killed Byakuya. The ultimate affluent progeny. Byakuya Togami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending. But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as a leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. The person who did it is one of us. I can't believe it. There's no way that I can believe it. But if it's really true, we need to find out by any means possible. Because that is our only option. There is no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. And so, this life-threatening trial bellowing with hope and despair has begun. Would you like to save? Of course. Duh. Why, why would we not? Okay, do we have any skills? No, I don't think so. It wouldn't make sense. Okay, no, we don't. You can actually... That's weird that you can change the difficulty from this screen. I don't know if that's like a good or bad thing. The blue hue of our vacation is now crimson red as the killer is really one of us. Or is it someone else? It's not. It's one of us. Uh, okay, so I can't do anything. I don't have anything that I can use. Because I don't know. I just, I'm just i not one of the pre part people that will solely focus on a character. So we'll unlock it as the time comes. But proceed to the crash trial. I think we have to. We're on mean logic, so this will be interesting. But I'm glad I caught that before the trial began. So I can go to the transcript, I think, and kind of read off what Monet they've been saying. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. So. Good, good. Basically, long story short, uh, we're getting a simple explanation of how class trials work. During the trial, trial, we present our arguments, as in the first game. We got to figure out who done it. If we vote correctly, the blackened will receive the punishment, and only the blackened. If we get the wrong person, then everyone will die, and the person who killed gets to leave the island. Of course. Um, before Nagito asks if there is the killer is really among us, Monokuma does say it is. It is one of us. Um, obviously, it's what we anticipated. Um, and then it's going to be 100% fair in quotation marks. So that's what y'all missed. Um, I'm glad, like I said, I'm glad that I caught it now rather than before. Because that would have sucked to have this whole entire class trial be, like, muted. <laughs> so, good catch. <laughs> but. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate <laughs> me, of course. Poor Monami. You hate me that much? Let's begin! Y you're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? Okay, I've actually gotten her voice down pretty well. I'm pretty proud of that, actually. I'm a I mean, Of course, I'm in a little bit of a lower register, but, like, the actual trembles and stuff. No complaining. Let's just settle this with our fists. Oh, I have hers completely off. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Biakia bastard get killed in the dining hall? Huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, but you knowing that is also not the greatest. Yeah, yeah. What you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? Let's go, Mahiru. No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Then, let's start with that mystery. The reason why Byakuya's body was discovered under the table in the dining hall. We can start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered him. If we can't do that... No. Thinking about if is a waste of time. Well, we have to do this no matter what. So the class trial has finally started. From this point on, I will provide simple tutorials at every important moment. I'm sorry, but please excuse my ear-tainting rudeness. <laughs> As things progress, 
During each class trial, you will be engaging in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, all your classmates will be speaking one after another without any breaks. It is up to you to unveil any lies or mistakes. I'm actually really glad that they clarified that, because in the first game, it was any lies and anything like that. So, yeah, it's, it's both lies and mistakes, like, contained within their statements. This means you have to use your truth bullet to refute what they say. Out of all the truth bullets you finding during your you found or you find in your investigation, only the relevant ones will appear in the truth cylinder. Use the left stick to move the radical and then fire with the diamond. Why am I getting PS2 controls? What the hell is the diamond on a PS2? Is that the Y button? This is what made the first trial go long in the first place, is it was giving me mouse and keyboard controls, and now it's giving me PlayStation controller controls. Pay close attention to each statement and choose your truth bullet to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you'll automatically fail, so please be careful. Yeah, if I had the controls, that would help. If you press the start button during these arguments, you can review the controls. Then good luck and have fun. Okay. The knife the blood stain, and the gaps in the floorboard. Why was Byakuya's body in a place like that? His body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya. Okay. I'm trying to figure out my controls again. Probably moved the body there. Um... by hiding the body they tried to delay its discovery like a dog burying a bone huh what he just said was strange it clearly contradicts the information that I know why was Byakuya's body in a place like that His body was underneath oh they have it different here the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. No, that's wrong. I feel like there's an easier way to move the... No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when he found it under the table. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. Oh, and here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. <laughs> Dang. I respond better to praise, you know. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? That's a good point. Yakuya was probably killed under the table. But why was he under the what? table? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, he found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Why? Nekomaru and I are so linked, okay? It's fine. Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. Uh... The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. Yeah, but why? It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. Th exactly. Like... The, the earthquake drill is the drill that you get taught to do go under the table. That just seems like an odd move to make, right? The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think? Uh, uh, probably. The reason you dove under the table, if it's connected... Oh, frick. I didn't get to read it all. 
Is it on auto? I don't think it is. Display the problem. Oh, there it is. That's a cool feature, actually. If it's connected to what Biakia was doing during the party, then it's probably... Maybe he's... Was he still checking? Oh, wait, that's not. Um, that makes not presumptuous. I think that's wrong. Ah. Maybe he found the knife? I can prove it with this. Oh, yeah, he found the knife. Okay, that makes sense. It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Knife? Oh, you mean that thing that obviously screams, I am a murder weapon! Bianca, you probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice if there was a knife under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, that's not possible. What? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial! During the previous statement, there was only one weak spot. But from this point on, there will be various weak spots. Okay, yes, that makes sense. No matter how many weak spots there are, there will be only one lie or contradiction in the debate. This means that there will be false weak spots. If you shoot a false weak spot with a truth bullet, not only will you fail to refute what was said, you are going to also lower your trust with everyone and take influence gauge damage. The influence gauge reaches zero, you fail, so be extra careful. You have to rely on your own logic to determine the weak spots are actual lies or mistakes. Also, you if you concentrate by holding down the RB button, look at that, it's actually giving me the right buttons now. <laughs> you can progress the argument slowly. Please use whatever you feel like within the statements are moving too fast for you to aim. However, this does consume focus gauge, so please be careful. Press the start button to see the controls again. Okay. Knife, bloodstain, gaps, AC type. Oh my god, there's a lot this time. Okay, it's, it's getting back to where I expected it to go. So how would he have seen it? Oh, okay. I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. That sounds correct. Yeah. If that's the case, during the blackout, Mr. Ham Ham must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my boot. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. <clears throat> the night vision glasses were his. I had a feeling that's where we were going to go. No. Yakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So, are you saying Yakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. Oh! We're being contradicted! No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Whoa! <laughs> this is cool. Other way around? Seriously, the killer used those night vision goggles, not the Akuya. Were you? Yes. That's awesome. Okay, so our character's not right all the time. Were you surprised by me here? Sudden argument. Yes, and I loved it. Just between you and me, I was also surprised. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now then, when this kind of argument re or surfaces, 
you will be on a one-on-one -on -one debate called the Rebuttal Showdown. In this mode, you have to counter the other person's claim, drawing out their weak spots and argue against them in a one-on-one -on -one showdown. Please counter the other person's remarks with the left stick. Based on the shape of their remarks, it is important to know whether to cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally. Oh god, this is going to challenge me a ton. And based on that, you need to skew the debate mood to your advantage. On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, then they'll skew it towards their advantage. In the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, the number that shows the sharpness of your counter is displayed. This number... Th this is a number of times you can cut remarks during one round of the debate. You will lose counts of sharpness if you miss, so please be careful. When the mood skews to your advantage for certain lengths of time, the other party's argument changes. This means the conversation will develop. If that happens and they end up divulging in some weak spots, however, you cannot normally cut remarks that contain weak spots. Instead, it'll skew the mood towards the other party's advantage. Plus, it is going to be a very big. Just like a regular debate, please refute any weak spots with the Y button. Of course, if you don't have the correct truth blade, you will not be able to cut the opponent's remark. Huh? What's a truth blade, you ask? I am terribly sorry, but it appears there's been a delay in contract or on contacting you. I will happen... I will make sure the person in charge of contacting you takes a very long vacation. In this mode, truth bullets will be called truth blades. Um, that's about it. There won't be any other changes to your handbook menu. Only the name was changed, but don't you think a, cha a, feeling, a change in feeling is important? Press the start button during these arguments and you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay, this is... I feel like this is like... Okay. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. I can't fast forward if I'm just listening. You should let Mahira say what she wants and then find a point. That if you wants. just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those knives. That's gotta be it. Where's your poop that the killer used them? Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Yapia even in the dark. I mean, in reality. So those goggles were planted if the killer brought them to the crime scene. Damn it! What? If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those knives. That's gotta be it. Where's your poop that the killer used them? Because if they used night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned if the killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they use night vision, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the... I mean, in reality, that's... So those goggles were planned in advance. What the, the killer heck? killer brought them to the crime scene. I don't get Damn this. It. I don't understand this, oh no. However, you cannot normally cut remarks that contain weak spots. Instead, it'll skew the mood towards the other party's advantage. Plus, it is gonna be a very big, just like a regular debate, please refute any weak spots with the Y button. Where's your poop that the killer used them? Because if they use night vision, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Ah, okay. Crap. 
says that they use night vision, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Allow me to cut there. I was like, okay, so I had it right. I just didn't know how to play this game. Okay. No. Byakuya was definitely the one who brought those Oh, that should not have taken me that long. Okay, that was... Uh, okay, so why is to cut through the weak spot? Because it's the truth blade and it... Uh, okay. Definitely? But why? Inside the Duralumin case Byakuya had with him during the party, he found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means... We can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin case as well. Yes. Woohoo! I said assume. Ibuki never uses such clever language. Plus, Byakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then, was that knife inside the case too? If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there, too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. Ew! You totally mean that in a perverted way! Yeah, it's Ter Teru. Yes. The knife was brought the, in the Duralumin case along with the night vision goggles, too. No, that's not possible. The knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started. Should be able to approve it. <laughs> oh God. Crap. I just wanted to click it, honestly. The knife was brought the duct tape? I see. Because didn't we see that earlier? Yeah. There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Huh? Duct tape? They probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. Oh, so that's why we found duct tape there. Though Byakuya was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case, too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? You think so, too. Right, Hajime? No. That's right. Byakuya probably knew because of the murder threat. I can prove it with this. Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Hey. The hell? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent for him. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Wasn't me! Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> the only lies I tell are friendly lies! Those are still lies! It doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So... Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. Oh, he should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? I see. 
strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously, the killer. The killer. Is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us, who is the one who killed Biakia? Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. But I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Biakia. There's no um, way I can believe that yet. Pardon me. Can I say something, please? What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. No, the killer definitely used a mark. Because of this mark, the killer was able to go to the knife and under the table into his hair or uh, the glowing paint. See. What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? The painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Which means, whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Which means, it was you, Peko Pekoyama! <laughs> Peko killed poor Byakuya? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? I am not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. How can you believe her so easily? But... With Peko's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. I, I don't care about a technicality like that. Peko's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Peko was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? After this debate, blue-colored weak spots will start appearing. Oh, what? If we call the weak spots you've seen up to now Argy spots, the blue colored weak spots we call Agree spots. Shooting Agree spots with truth bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking. Oh my god, there's so much more to this. This is going to be crazy. Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains a lie or a mistake, please fire truth bullets that prove the other person's testimony is correct. When your truth bullets emerge with their weakness, it becomes a logically sound argument. What? Isn't it a little hot in here? From now on, you must refer whether or not it's best to argue or agree with what is being debated. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh, there's so much more thinking involved. I love it. If you press the start button during these arguments, you can see the controls. Well, then, good luck and have fun. Okay. So, we should see blue spots, and we have to agree with them in this one, but we have to infer. Oh, we have to use somebody's account to do it. Okay. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. No. That's impossible. Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? Sorry. Oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse. Yeah, that's a since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. That's impossible. Huh? 
Why is it impossible? Didn't Chiaki say something about it? Because I was not in the office. It was either Chiaki or not even before the blackouts. No, it wasn't Chiaki. Crap. And it was Nekamaru? Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. Then she must have been in the That's bathroom. Impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. I agree with that. No, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Oh, I love the fact that we actually have to agree with them too. Oh, that's huge. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekko. And yet, it's nothing like that at all. Nikomaru's account is actually Pekko's alibi. I've been trying to use it many times, but the doors won't open at all. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. I... I guess that would be... true. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. Shit. <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Hey, weren't you guys taught me basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? It's Nekamaru, let's be honest. <laughs> <coughs> Stop talking about this and move on to something else. Don't worry, the smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. <laughs> I said it's fine, but still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom. Including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? Oh, God, Terataru. Stop 